In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create new variables from old variables within SAS. And we do this using a data step, and it's, it's relatively straightforward. So I'm going to create a new variable called uh, BMI, which will be the, the body mass index of the, um, the entries in my MMM data set that we've been using in previous videos. So data, and I'm creating a new data set, and I'm going to put in the MAT008 library and I'm going to call it MMM with BMI. Um, so nothing new here, and I'm going to set the old data set to MAT008.MMM. So that's nothing new. But what we, what we add on now is uh, the name of the new variable and an equal sign. And so, and now we do a bit of arithmetic. So it's the weight in kg, oops, sorry, weight in kg divided by the height in meters squared. Now, here we have to be careful. Um, I've written squared with the exponent sign. But in SAS, the exponent sign means something else. It means uh, a negation, which we'll come on to later. So the exponent is done with two stars, so height in meters squared. Use a semicolon and the run statement. And if we run this code, so I submit it, and let's just go to my libraries, MAT008, and it's created a new data set, MMM with BMI. If I double click on this, let me open it up a little bit, you'll see it's created a new variable called BMI that has just calculated um, the BMI of the, of the entrance as a function of the variables. So, that's one example of, of creating a new variable. Let me close this. We'll, we'll create a new one. So if I, sorry, let me just open this up again. If uh, we look at sex, this is the data set. If you remember in previous videos, we had some Fs and some female, some Ms and some male. So one way we can fix this is if we create a new data set, data set mat008.mmm with BMI. And I'm actually going to set the same data set, mat008.mmm with BMI. Now, always be careful with this, because if what I write is a bit of code that, that doesn't work, I might actually break this original data set. I've got the code above, so I can already recreate it. So always be careful when setting an original data set. What makes more sense to do is put, oop, let me, um, what makes more sense to do is to put the new data set, MAT, sorry, MMM with BMI in our work library so that if we do make a mistake, nothing um, bad happens because it's just in our temporary library. Okay, and what we're now going to do is something similar to before. We're going to create a new variable sex and we're going to use um, a string operation because sex was a string and we're going to use the string function substring um, substring and now we're going to act it on sex and in substring the, f the, the, the syntax is the, the first number you put after the actual string um, so after the variable sex is the position so I'm, lo I'm looking for the substring of the variable sex that starts in position 1 of length 1. In other words I want the, the first character. Semicolon and a run. And again here I'm creating a new variable that will actually be the same as an old variable. So I run that, go to my work library MMM with BMI and now if we look at sex, it's got nothing but F's and M's. So if I wanted to, I could now simply copy this data set using a, v a basic data step into my MAT008 library. Just for a quick look of some SAS functions, here's some of the arithmetic operations. So exponential is this double star, everything else is more or less what we'd expect it to be. Um, you've got some math functions, so the absolute value, the natural log, log to uh, base 10, um, etc. the square root and here's some examples of some string functions. We saw substring, 
we can convert everything to uppercase, everything to lowercase, we can trim, so if you, you might have some space after a variable, uh, of a string variable, um, and also we can find the position of a particular substring within a string. But this is just a small subset of the, the functions available in SAS, there, there are a huge amount of them, and, uh, and simply Googling, Googling what you want usually gets you what you need.